Hi, we're just going to run through the steps of making a mold for tooling for a plastic component. The first step is to create this protrusion with non-symmetric extents. You then insert the part. After that, you do a Boolean subtraction, then you copy a surface. You extend the surfaces out to ensure that the surface goes out of the part area. You then fill in any voids in the surface and you stitch them together. This is critical to make sure that this surface has got no voids and it's a continuous surface which you'll use once it's stitched as the splitting plane to split these two halves of the part together. So to recap, the steps are number one, draw your protrusion. Number two, have non-symmetrical extents. So it'll go up and down. Number three, you insert the part as an insert part copy, which will then be placed inside the material. You then do a Boolean subtraction to take the part out of the material so that you've got a void. You then would copy the top surface with these different features over here. And once those are copied, you will extend the surface out of the protrusion. Because when you create the two separate parts, You've got to make sure that this parting surface goes out of the protrusion. You then would stitch up all the holes in the surface to ensure that these are filled and it's one contiguous piece of material. Once you've done that, you'll go on to surfacing and you'll go to replace face and then you will go and say divide part when you divide the part, it asks you for the splitting surface, the direction, and you save your files as the top and the bottom part. You can see there's the bottom part and there's the top part. Just to make sure that you've done everything correctly, you can then take the save top part and the save bottom part and put them together in an assembly document. You would then go and set your cutting planes so we would put a cutting plane on this particular surface. You click on a reference plane. You click on the first point. So this is the size of the slice that you would like in the cutting plane. And then you see as you move along, it's very difficult to see from this angle. So we will just rotate the part. And there you can see the voids inside where the plastic would be filled. So let me just position this better. And as you move your cutting plane, you will see as you go through the part, these are the apertures here where the plastic would fall between those sections.